In a sterile lab filled with wires, mirrors, and silence, a machine stands still. Then, suddenly, movement. A shift in posture, a glance. It takes a step, then another. Within seconds, it sprints forward, leaps onto a platform, does a backflip, and lands without flinching. It's not science fiction, it's not a CGI render, it's Atlas, Boston Dynamics' most advanced humanoid robot. A machine once mocked for tripping over cables, now jumping between walls like a parkour athlete, and dancing like it has rhythm in its code. But Atlas is far more than just a stunt performer. It's a proof of concept, a terrifyingly impressive one for what humanoid robotics is about to become. Not just mobility, not just autonomy, but embodied intelligence. So let's go deep. Let's break down what makes Atlas tick and what it tells us about the future of robots that can move, reason, and maybe one day replace us. Let's start with mobility. Atlas weighs about 89 kilograms, just under 200 pounds. It stands five feet tall and is powered by hydraulic actuators instead of electric motors. Why hydraulics? Because they offer a higher power to weight ratio allowing Atlas to generate explosive force through compact limbs. That's how it can jump, sprint, twist, and flip with human-like agility. Each joint is controlled with a proportional valve system that can vary pressure on the fly. That's what gives Atlas those organic movements, like adjusting weight mid-step or catching its balance when slipping. Combine that with force sensors, inertial measurement units, and LiDAR, and you've got a robot that doesn't just walk, it feels its steps. Now, here's the important part. Atlas doesn't follow a script. It uses a real-time motion planner. That means it perceives the world, decides where to move, and calculates how to get there in milliseconds. It's performing dynamic locomotion in unpredictable environments, slippery floors, uneven terrain, tight spaces. Every step is a calculated risk. This isn't just AI, it's a fulmic integration of control theory, feedback loops, 3D mapping, pose estimation, and trajectory prediction. Atlas isn't remote controlled, it's autonomous, and it adapts faster than any machine of its kind. Now let's talk vision. Atlas uses stereo cameras and LiDAR sensors mounted in its head to build a point clue representation of its environment. This visual data is processed into a voxel-based 3D map of the surroundings. With that, Atlas runs a SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, algorithm to figure out where it is, how it's oriented, and where it needs to go. It's the same tech behind self-driving cars, but optimized for human-scale motion. Atlas is constantly running real-time pathfinding, object detection, and terrain evaluation. When it jumps onto a platform, it's not guessing, it's computing arc, velocity, angle of attack, and required force, all in a feedback loop 20 plus times per second. The software driving this is Boston Dynamics' proprietary robot operating system, deeply integrated with C++ and ROS-based libraries. It coordinates limb movement, adjusts for latency, predicts future positions, and keeps the entire robot stable even during intense actions like flips or obstacle jumps. But what truly separates Atlas from other robots is its fluidity. It doesn't look like it's moving in steps, it looks like it's reacting. And that's thanks to its model predictive control, which allows Atlas to simulate its own future states. It runs predictions of what will happen if I do this for every joint and every step, choosing the most efficient and stable outcome. It's the robot equivalent of instinct, except it's math running in mac microseconds. So when Atlas vaults over a box or lands on a beam, it's not just reacting, it already imagined that motion and pre-adjusted its limbs to stick the landing. That's not just engineering, that's real-time biomechanical optimization. But we can't talk about Atlas without addressing the elephant in the room. Why a humanoid robot? Why two legs, two arms, and a head? when wheels and claws are more efficient? The answer is simple. Our world is built for humans. Our stairs, our doorways, our tools, our environments, all designed for bipedal creatures. If we want machines to operate in our space without changing the infrastructure, we need them to move like us. Atlas is a sandbox, a learning tool, 
a simulation of what happens when we give machines human form and human ability. And Boston Dynamics isn't stopping here. In their most recent demo, Atlas did something subtle but monumental. It used its environment intelligently. It picked up a plank, moved it, climbed onto it, handed tools to a technician model, and then did a backflip off the platform, like it was mic dropping the future. That demo marked a turning point. Atlas wasn't just performing motion, it was executing a task sequence. That's behavior level planning. It recognized the steps needed to solve a spatial puzzle, used the right tools, and executed motions with graceful precision. That's no longer just mobility, that's cognitive robotics and it raises the stakes because when robots go from scripted performers to real-time thinkers, we enter a whole new category. A category where robots aren't just tools, they're agents. Autonomous agents that understand goals, plan actions, and adjust to uncertainty. Now, imagine pairing Atlas with a large language model give it voice, give it comprehension, let it translate natural language into motion sequences. Atlas, get me the wrench and hold the ladder. It understands, it moves, it obeys. That's not 2050, that's 2025. Companies like Tesla with Optimus, Agility Robotics with Digit, and Figure with their humanoid platform are racing toward the same finish line. General purpose humanoid robots that can work, assist, build and interact with people in everyday life. But none of them move like Atlas. None of them can dance, flip, recover, and replan in real time. Boston Dynamics has spent over a decade perfecting motion. The question now is, what happens when that motion meets intelligence? Because the real revolution isn't a robot that can do parkour, it's a robot that can make decisions, learn from failure, and work side by side with humans in real-world jobs, safely, precisely, and tirelessly. Atlas is still in the research phase, it's not for sale. It's not on the market, but make no mistake, it's a glimpse into a future where machines walk among us, not just on wheels or drones, but step by step. So next time you see a viral video of Atlas doing a backflip or throwing a tool bag, don't just be impressed, be aware. That robot isn't just doing stunts, it's training, learning, improving. And the question we'll soon have to answer is no longer can robots move like us, it's how much freedom do we give them once they do? Because once mobility and intelligence merge in a humanoid form, we're entering a new class of machine, machines that are not just tools, but collaborators, maybe even competitors. If you found this breakdown of Atlas as fascinating and unsettling as we did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into real world AI and robotics, and drop a comment below. Do you think humanoid robots will be walking among us within the next decade? Or is this just hype with no scale?